What? Your boy is wearing a frock? This is what I received when I took my kids the other day to a birthday party. Why do you let your boy wear a frock? Judgmental eyes stared at me. As a mom who follows gentle parenting, it wasn't tough for me to let him make that decision. He usually likes to try clothes his elder sister wears. At home when he told me he wants to wear that pretty golden frock, instead of battling him, I told him, this is your body. You have the right to make decisions about it. I will do everything to support you unless an action has the potential of harming you. Like, you know, if you want to step out in freezing cold wearing only your underpants. That's it. Yes, there were sniggering kids at the party. Parents who didn't know better, who'd probably not been given that level of acceptance in their own lives. But I told my son, yes, people might laugh at you, make fun of you. But you know what, beta? Be unapologetically yourself. Confidence means being true to yourself, even in the face of discomfort or disapproval. And no one can take that away from you. As you can see, the smile on his face says it all. Have you ever thought about the contrast between what's accepted for boys versus girls? The cultural pressure to genderize girl babies begins at birth with giant hair bows and floral headbands. And once girls hit puberty, that pressure increases. Department stores push girl clothing that bears legs and midriffs. Magazines focus on makeup tips and boys. Movies depict girls as cliquey and shallow. Any girl who doesn't fit into this mold is guaranteed to feel out of place and risks bullying if they deviate too far from the norm. Meanwhile, boys who venture into girl territory are generally made to feel unwelcome from an early age. Any kid can have short hair, but most people still assume that long hair is only for girls. Any kid can wear clothes that celebrate dinosaurs or space, but unicorns and skirts are automatically feminine. Soccer and karate are for all kids, but dance classes are populated almost exclusively by girls. Girls have the entire rainbow open to them, but boys, they are limited to blue, black, grey. We can and we should celebrate our kids being their own true authentic selves girls and boys. But sadly, far too often kids are stifled by societal expectations of normalcy, stuffed into boxes they may not fit in because putting a toe outside means facing judgment and mockery. Gender-based stereotypes are damaging to all kids. So let us strive to be conscious of these stereotypes so we don't push our kids and ourselves in these rigid boxes. So, would you let your boy wear a frock?